welcome again in this tutorial i will show you how to plot xrd pattern of any material in material studio so here you see here is the intensity and here is a two theta value so i will choose a sample material you can choose any material i will just give you a simple demonstration but uh, you can use a better force feed, uh, cut off distance and uh, other parameters to get uh, more accurate values uh, for the XRD pattern. So uh, let's uh, get started. I will delete all these things uh, to show you how we do this in uh, Material Studio. So I have this and I delete all this. and i will start from 3d window will appear here we can change its color from here display style uh, display options here background color can be changed but i think uh, black is uh, more better so we are not going to change it i will go to import I suppose I have a sample material here it's very simple material uh, just I am sh uh, showing you a simple example so here the atoms are not very clear so I will make them more visible by choosing this option click balance stick so here you see our pattern of uh, our atoms and uh, we can change it's like this we can realize in 3d this uh, this one is used if you want to move shift it left and right this one can be used to sketch a new atom but we don't need this for our current project so what i will go what i will do next is i will there are many modules here but uh, i will choose a simple model here for site go to calculations go to i will go to geometry optimization there are many other options but uh, we can choose uh, here geometry optimization here is energy you can choose uh, many force field compass compass to this one is very good uh, this one is uh, not so good but uh, for to save time we can use this we can use pcf this one is good and uh, we can also uh, add any other force field so uh, here are more more options but i'm not going to change any of uh, these options so simple uh, i will go here here uh, we can change name of uh, the over job i can use x or d sample example so here are the run in parallel how many cores we have i have eight cores you can choose try to choose uh, not 100 percent cores but you can choose one or two less so i here choose six if i will choose two or three it will be more slow so there are more options you can this update structure this will update the structure and this will retain the server files so you can choose this so i click on run since it is very uh, simple structure so and the force field is not uh, uh, very a complicated force field is very simple force field source field so it will take very less time so let's see what happened job is completed so press ok and here you see uh, convergence plot and here is uh, how enthalpy is changing like this so uh, our main purpose is to study the XRD pattern I will go to analysis here in the foresight i will go to analysis 
and here are many options uh, we can calculate radial distribution function radius of gyration many other things but i will go to scattering there are many options but uh, you will choose uh, uh, this option lot in 2d and uh, here you can change the range i will go to maximum i think we can go to 0 to 180 i can okay let's go to 0 to 180 so if i click here uh, analyze so it will take a little time and here you see uh, this is the xrd pattern of our material there are many peaks correspond to different uh, plans present in uh, our material if you will use uh, other force fields like uh, compass and other force field it will be more and more accurate hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, you will be able to um, do some simulations uh, related to uh, xrd pattern and also you can compare your material with the xrd material xrd uh, and you can also calculate the difference uh, uh, between the xrds so uh, better you the force field you choose uh, you will get a more accurate result. Thanks. Uh, hope you will enjoy this video. Thanks.